guys, Screw Blonde with. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. Ah! <laughs> and it is time for mailbag number 35. Everything off the table. Oh. First package. <coughs> yeah! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh, lots of shirts. That's not Jared Leto, is it? That's a that's a crow. That may be that may be yours. Yeah, yeah that's no, the it crow. is, isn't it? Why is a crow? Well, I get the best look at it now. That's uh, that's Bruce Lee's son. Brandon Lee? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, show me what this one is. Can you put me up for the night? That's um. Can you put me up for the night? Shit, what's that from? Underpants. Underpants, etc. I mean, yeah, the first thing I thought it was Boys World too. Yeah. What is, no, what is that? I don't know. I can't tell what that is. This oh. is all. This is the crow. I oh shit! It's, it's Batman. A... Huh? It's Batman. Hmm. There's his, it's his wings and his ears. A big metal finger. Huh? I still don't see it. Like, imagine the oh, batarang is yes, down here. Oh, okay. And that's probably yeah, yours, yeah. Eric. What? <laughs> what if it's a shark with a knife? That would be a stranger thing. <laughs> Holy shit! It's a shark with a knife and all of us. It's our kid faces. It's our kid faces. That's bad. I know what I'm fucking wearing for Stranger Things tonight. Right? Oh, it's gonna be awesome. a shark with a knife in there sometime. Did you just wipe your nose with it? It itched. I didn't wipe it. Did you just wipe it? My nose is like right here ish. I was like, <laughs> my shirt. It's fine. Now, do you raise mm -hmm. them higher when you flip someone off or do you go down low like that? Depends what kind of. I just keep it I close to my body. I don't want to go high or low. It's just like. It's me. It's solitary with me, you know? I like On the same the... plane, so you know it's coming from me. I, like I won't take it far away. I like to get the triple snap. I remember, I remember Jordan Stryker's dad. We were driving one time in traffic. Hey, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, whoa! All right. No, no, for this? For this? It's no, no. CA right. design. Yeah. Oh, CA design. Sweet. So these are all of his designs because <laughs> he makes these shirts. These I'm cool. not sure what underpants, etc. is. I'm not sure. Underpants. Under the crow. That is. I mean, yeah, that's it's a Batman. Batman. But is that like Nightwing or something? I don't know what that is. I don't know what's with the fire. Well, I mean, the theme for Dark Knight Rises was fire, but it was red. I feel like something yeah. else is in here, but um. Anyway, still really cool looking, and then the middle finger. All right, see you designs. Thank you. Thank you. Oh shit! What? what? It's, not, it's not what you think it is. Old Doctor Who. It's old Doctor Who. Oh. How old? Sixty-three to sixty-six. It's the original. Doctor, oh, I believe. It's it's number yeah. one. Cool. The actual beginning of everything. 53 years old and, might I say, still amazing. Enjoy Crow. Crow? We were cool. just talking about Crow. The Crow. The Crow. Crow. That is very cool. Crow. Thank you. Crow. Thank you, Crow. Oh, shit. The Philippine, Philippine cookbook. cookbook. Philippine cookbook. Shane, enjoy your gift, brother. My mom still uses brother. this book. And thank... And, and, and think it's on a personal list. Whether cook with a crew or family, they should enjoy adobo, lumpia, lechon, and Filipino crispy Ooh. fried pork belly. Adobo. From, crispy fried pork from belly. Edwin B. Edwin B. There's no pork in this. It's just pictures. Pictures. Thank you, man. I will definitely appreciate that. Pictures of, yeah, of Edwin. what? Pictures Dev of beer? Pictures of you? Pictures of pictures me? Pictures of me? Pictures on the wall? Whole world to see. I'm, I have a machine that I continued with that. Definitely personally, and hopefully when we get to do a blind wave cook shit soon, we gotta do a create, couple of these. Create some Filipino food. Everything that I saw in there was like vegetables. Adobo is yeah. probably my favorite dish pork, ever. Pork belly. Pork belly. Thank you. Lumpia is good as well. Blind wave crew, don't rip open letter inside. Just don't let, I'm glad I didn't let you open it. Yeah. It. It's kind of like uh, don't open dead inside from the first episode of Walking Dead. Necessary evil supervillains of DC Comics? Okay, we got a letter. Dear Blind Wave, here's a little something I thought you guys would enjoy, though knowing you guys, it's entirely possible that one of you already own it. If that's the case, then surprise! Uh, it's yet another duplicate. <laughs> it's a documentary about DC comic villains. Oh. No need to react to it. Just figured you guys, uh, and possibly also the kids, would like it. I originally found you guys through your DBZA reactions, and I was immediately hooked on your channel. Because of that, I can honestly thank Eric and Calvin for getting me into my new favorite show, Game of Thrones. Hell Speaking yeah. of which, in, in Mailbag 33, you guys were talking about your favorite performances from Game of Thrones. During that discussion, the first scene that came to mind was Jon Snow saying goodbye to Ygritte at the Pond. 
Okay, when she, before she oh, shot him. Yeah. The emotion... Ah! Spoilers. Yeah. What the hell? What is that? It's a fly. Yeah, it's a fly. Fucking, leave me alone. Damn it! The emotion in Kit Harrington's face and voice when he said, I have to go home, almost made me tear up. I'll have to go home. Uh, what do you think was the saddest moment in the show? Last scene we saw with uh, Marjorie. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that one was, is yours? Sad. For me, I felt really bad. Like, the last scene between John and Ygritte in the Battle of the Wall. The Wall, yeah. Battle of Castle Black. Should have gone back to that cave, Jon Snow. Could eat my pussy. That one, that part. <laughs> Is that what you said? I don't know. Yeah, pretty she much. She didn't say <laughs> it like that. Yeah, that's at the cave. That's what they did. Do the thing that, yeah, because he was really good at it. Yeah, surprisingly. You do that thing with your southern ladies. <laughs> that was a sad, was a sad moment. It was very sad. The things that made me, the things I thought were sad, like, because I was, I've been more emotional Bring other things that I, that wasn't necessarily sad. You know what I mean? Sure, like, but you're asking for your sad moments. What's your saddest moment? When Rob, maybe when Rob died. Red wedding. I was more mad. But yeah. I'll say See, afterwards I was just sad, and then yeah. I was depressed, and I Honestly, stopped eating. I, I lost a lot of weight, and you could tell by looking at our videos. You went through the seven processes. I think yeah. more sad for that rather than like the, that scene was how close uh, Arya was. Arya was a good yeah. Bedford family. Yeah, yeah. And oh, it was uh, just robbed from her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also seeing uh, when. When Ned died and Rob was like hitting the tree with the sword, mm -hmm. I felt so bad. Yeah. Rob, stop! That part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I felt really bad, like, when Ned, like, when he realized everything that was happening and he lied to try and yeah. save his daughters mm -hmm. and it didn't work out the way he wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that sucked. I would say, like, if I'm in retrospect, like, what's the saddest moment when I do a rewatch? It's usually for me what really gets me is the last meeting between Jon Snow and Ned. Next time I see you, I'll tell you about your mother. You know, yeah. Because I know the characters will never see each other again. Uh, that's sad, and but like in a sheer reaction of just seeing it happening. Hodor. Shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I completely forgot. One hundred percent. I blocked that shit out. Yeah, yeah I, I, I literally forgot. About that. I literally sorry. forgot about that too. Well, I'm sorry. There's a little more. It's it's Hodor. I, I I don't want to explain why. Uh, keep up the awesome work, you guys, and congrats on 100K. Oh, and uh, here's a PSA: Don't write a letter and pen, kids. Shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Signed, Carmine. Carmine. Uh, uh, P.S. One back. Oh oh snap. P.S. Uh, since a fan of the Supla, my YouTube channel, sent you guys a letter about me and my co-host. I guess from now on, you can refer to me as Carmine from the Supla. And then he's like. Uh, <laughs> YouTube.com slash the Supla podcast. Cough, cough. Cheap plug. Cough, cough. Signed, Carmine from the Supla. Carmine. Thank you, Carmine. Thank, thank you, you Carmine. from the Supla. That's awesome. Thank, thank you, you, Carmine. Thank you, thank you, Carmine. So what is that? That's a documentary. It's a documentary right? about villains. Yeah, about DC necessary villains. evils. Oh, check that Super out. Super villains of DC comics. This says crew of blind wave. So you may open it. Oh. Nothing. <gasps> I, I don't want. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. Whoa! This! Yes! I knew Calvin was gonna be just. Yes! Go crazy. Ha -ha! Go be a disturbed. I knew we'd go crazy. Gonna wear it, yes, of course I'm gonna wear it. What's well, going back? I wear I'm everything. Not, I'm not gonna be able to wear that. Well, you got a beard? <sighs> I guess kind of, not really. Not in my opinion. Yeah, mine either. It looks good, Calvin. No, not, <laughs> not in mine either. Isn't that kind of funny? At first, I thought he had like teeth, like it was mad. That's cool. But it's, it's not. That's pretty I cool. I like that. That's very cool. I yeah. find your lack of beard. The top of his hat, how much? I, I thought it was like a lack of beard. Batman? Yeah, something weird. A little bit, it. yeah. But no, that's just a reflection. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Cool! Thank you. Thank you. No note. Thank you, sir. No or note. Man. Hopefully, it's not a spoon. Could be a flat spoon. Like a spatula or something. What? What if it's know. unbreakable? It could be. It hits like a spoon. Zip strip. Oh, Ooh. oh, Batman Year uh, One. Year One. This is a good Frank one. Frank Miller and David Machalu Mazzalucci. Mm-hmm. As you could guess, it's about Batman's first year on the job. Mazzalucci. Uh, Batman Begins has a lot of inspiration from this book. Hey guys, didn't know if you read this already, but. I thought, fuck it, it's Batman, and I'm sure you'll like it anyway. From Mitch Great Rex. Mitch. Mitch. I actually haven't read it, but I know it's Thank you, well Mitch. claimed yeah. and referred to. And Anything Frank Miller gets his hands on God, with Batman shit. is always awesome. Okay. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ghost, Ghost stories. stories. Complete collection. Ghost stories? I don't know if I wanna... Is it spoilers? Yeah, but go ahead. Well, Hi, Blind Wave Crew. The spoon is for res... It's spoilers. The spoon is for resident haughty Calvin. <laughs> While the hilarious ghost stories is for the entire crew to watch slash react to. This is the official English dub. However, it's much more like an abridged series. From Key? Kai. Kai. From Kai. Look at his face. So, <laughs> I have to assume that we might have some we might have a pieces of cutlery coming. I don't know. Hey, don't do that. It's broken. Well, Perfect okay. condition. What's that? Well, thank you, Kai. We will look forward to this. I always love a good anime. Ghost stories. I never heard of this one. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> you will. I'll think of the show where these you're kids a you're a vegetable. are hanging out. <laughs> ghost types them on a type. I have no, no brain cells left. Ghost stories. Thank you. Key. Kai. 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 Dragon Kai. Soul. What's that? What was sounds like? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> what? What happened? It's an Iron Coin, the Faceless Man. It's actually a different one than the one we had, but when I looked at it, it was like this. Nothing's in it. And nothing in it. Huh. And then you turn and then around, it just fell out. Just fell. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Funny. Hey, Blind Wave, uh, this is the second part of my gift. I don't know if you guys already have it, but anyway, enjoy from JC from Costa Rica. Thank you, Thank you, JC. Thank you, JC. Thank you, JC. Hey, we, you. we have two. Faceless Men coins, but I believe it's a different one, yeah, isn't it? it? This is the same one. It's just it doesn't have the same. Mm, okay. It's made out of pure iron. Well, you know what? This means we have a couple of people to, you know, to pay kill. for. Pay stuff. And kill, kill a few people, right? Thank you, JC. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank awesome. You. Okay. What we got, Aaron? I don't know. It says Blind Wave Aaron. We got two. For some reason, I'm hoping it's a giant Felicity poster. <laughs> giant what? Why? I don't know Felicity why. Felicity poster. That's the first thing I thought of. For some okay. reason. Okay. Oh, oh that's God. God. I love that sound. Yeah. That was a hell of a sound. Yeah. Wasn't it? I love that. See, it was a good sound. That's a noob tube sound. I've never heard anything better than that. I want to lose my other ear right now, so I don't have to hear one more goddamn thing that sound like that. Oh, the Matrix. What? Whoa, it's a. Whoa! It's a tube. It's oh, yeah, tube. it's a spoon. There is no spoon! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Yes! Let's, let's try to hold up. Here's the okay. bottom. There is no spoon. That's awesome. That is badass, dude. So I just gotta remember that, huh? <laughs> there is no spoon. There is no spoon. Just remember that. Oh, dang that's it. not what's happening to you. Shane, let go of Well, that's awesome. That was cool. No, uh, no notes. In that sound. For that. <coughs> Maybe yeah. this is from the person who, uh... Maybe the sound wasn't real. Maybe none of this is real. Maybe. Maybe this is from the person who gave us the, uh... Oh, and they said the spoon. Yeah, this yeah. one's a spoon. It could be. The spoon is for... Yeah. For Aaron? No, the spoon is for Calvin. I said the spoon is for Cal. I have to imagine yeah. that we know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Resident sexy. I like that our new right? mascot has become a spoon. Instead of a man, man shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I like spoons. You can do I a mean, lot with them. I eat. A gift for you. <laughs> what is it? Oh! Uh... Oh my gosh, that is awesome. What is it? It could change. Oh shit! That's fucking cool, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wear that every day of your life. <laughs> I think Aaron needs to wear it. <laughs> Maybe if he wears it, he can't be hit by spoons. It's like a ward. I don't think it works like that. Calvin is now wearing it. Yes. You better not. Yeah, you wear that. I love it. I, I am. Never Even though it, it says girl props, it don't matter. Nothing wrong with that. Props. I like, I like the, the props girls have too. Huh? No note or anything? No note. No note! Oh. I got a snap. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, this is a good movie. Walk the line. It's Johnny Cash. Who said last time in like Johnny Cash? Aaron. This is a wait. Good, this that's is... not Johnny Cash. That's Phoenix. Yeah. He plays Johnny Cash. Walking Phoenix. Phoenix. Walking Phoenix. Yeah. It's a Johnny Cash story. It's a. Uh, and this. Can he sing like him? Oh hey. Dude, yeah, he's fucking awesome. Cry, cry, cry. It's it's the it's that one girl. I like, walk the she, line. She murdered her husband. Reese. Uh, with a spoon? No, with a knife. I can't believe I fell into that. <laughs> Yeah, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> he he did that to us on Discord. Not heard on here. I, I can't believe that. Yeah, I, no, the movie's I awesome. I saw it. I was gonna try and do it, but as soon as you started, I was like, 
I'll let him have it. <laughs> but no, uh, there's actually some of the covers on this uh, movie soundtrack that I actually like better than the originals. Really? Yeah. Good to hear him. Hi, Blimey Crew. <clears throat> I haven't sent anything since the White Ranger shirt. But oh. I always think of interesting things to send. Yes, you do. How about one of my favorite singers, the man in black, Johnny Cash, Travis Taylor. Hell yeah. Travis, you got good taste in music, Good man. taste, man. Love me Can you cash. walk the line? My favorite Johnny Cash songs were Ring of Fire, Walk the Line, Ain't No Grave, and Folsom Prison Blues. What are yours? There is also a Johnny Cash CD coming. Well, I think this is it. Yeah, Aaron, what's your favorite one? I don't like any of them. <laughs> you legit don't? I don't like Johnny Cash. Any of it? No. What about like, as like... What about like Hurt, dude? Man, I, don't, I don't know it. I don't know uh, what he's... What do you hear Hurt? Hurt? So is that the one where he talks about murdering his, his wife? No. Oh. Still... Yeah. They they're incredible pieces as a backdrop to like like video game trailers. He's, he's one of the few, I think, few artists that got better with age. Like you know, really? some people like they peak really early and then they kind of, it's kind of sad when they keep going, you know. But Johnny Cash like just got better as his he kind of lost his voice. So it's I mean, it's not cool. something you jam to like necessarily no. with your friends, but it's just <clears throat> when you listen to it. Most uh, of the time, I mean, by myself, whenever, like when I'm working whenever, out. Whenever you're sad. When you, I don't listen to it. Those are very sad. different moments. When you're sad, when, when I'm working out. Wait, but what? sad when I'm working out. <laughs> whenever it comes on, man, I love it. Yeah, yeah I got hurt and on, walked the line on my, uh, on my iPhone. I mean, when I, when I was when working out. When I was a teenager, we didn't have fucking iPhone or phones and iPods and shit. We had to make CDs like little <laughs> shitty pirates. I always shitty had a couple, pirates. I always <laughs> had a couple of them on there, you know? I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe mine goes back to when my dad, like... We would be driving like a long trip, and the only thing he would listen to would be like old country, yeah. Johnny Cash, Patsy Cline, yeah. Dolly Parton, Hank Williams. Hank Williams is all right. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't like country. And I just hated the twangy stuff most of the time, and I know Johnny Cash was part of the stuff he listened to, and I just didn't like it anyway. And well, now I don't like country now either. Because I hate country, but there's probably, yeah. tw- excluding Johnny we gotta, Cash. We gotta, we gotta separate this from like modern country. Yeah, there's like, yeah. No, yeah. But the exception country. of this, which yeah. I love. There's probably like 25 country songs I like that are pretty yeah. good. Thank you. All right, well, um, anyway, so thank you for this, man. Thank we, you, we, this is a nice surprise. Travis? Travis? Yeah. Well, thank you, Travis. I, I like uh, Walk the Line. I like yeah. Ring of Fire. Oh, I, I like that one. I like, so well, that's that actually answers your question. I like yeah. Folsom Prison Blues. I like, uh, I can't remember what the title of it is. I took like a shot much. of cocaine and I shot my woman down. No. I love that one. No. Uh, don't Bring Your Guns to Town. Yeah. I, I really like that one. It's the beginning of uh, Rundown. Sure. Yeah. Oh run. yeah. The run. 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 It's I a love run the down. Run. Run. I run. thought it was her down. daddy, she, but she had five food. more. So this is from Missouri. Is it in my Missouri? Celine, Missouri. Michigan. Michigan? Right. Is that my Michigan? Uh, I'm pretty damn sure it's Michigan. We got a uh, thank you note or card. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Pink. Um. Thank you. Purple. Dear Blind Wave, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. What you do for us is awesome. I think what sets you apart is your group dynamic and constant banner banter. We don't banter that much. I hate these fuckers. Fuck up. There's also the real vibe you give, uh, not the fake feeling others do. I don't know what you're talking about. I get it. Woo! No. (laughs) (laughs) And then this is from Lily. Uh, You got quick clip, but I gotta cut that out. All right, this is from uh, Lily. Hail to the end. And Lily, I'm sorry I can never read your last name. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Lily. Do people ever thank anybody from (laughs) from the top of their heart? Um, no, man. You gotta go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, we're all like the feet. Yeah, go deep. Pulled to the bone marrow. To the bone marrow. Bottom out. Bottom. So like that's all their blood is from the bottom. I mean, you gotta do all the chambers. I, all over the place. I mean, I, sh- I mean, I should have milkshake with Melanie one time, but my half is the bottom half, so she didn't get a whole lot. So I just wonder, like, how the bottom top thing. Oh, well, I mean, she yeah. got half. No, she didn't get that. <laughs> I had to get through her half to get to mine. You're silly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. This is our letter. No note. Who's that gorgeous man? Paul Newman. <coughs> Paul Newman. Good old Paul. Isn't he a singer? Look, Paul Randy Newman. Newman. Oh, that's it. Hogwarts! Oh, Grimmanaw! I'm glad I wore this shirt. Ah! Oh. And then she glued her note inside of it. Ooh. Hey, Blind Wave. I'm sorry that all I have for you is this handwritten note. That's fine. <coughs> we love it. We love handwritten notes. That's what I, Harry got. 
I currently don't have anything to send to you right now, but I do have some things in mind. I found your channel when I was looking for the Walking Dead reactions. Mm. You also happened to upload your Game of Thrones reactions with Calvin around yeah. the same time. I instantly fell in love with your channel after discovering the, those videos. It's been almost a year since I've been a subscriber, and I just wanted to say you all have been doing an amazing job. I just have one question to ask, and that is, will you ever consider reacting to the 100? I know you get millions of requests it's each day. It's a CW day. show, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Each day, but I just had to ask. It does take a few episodes to get into, but there's always moments that keep you on your feet and wanting to know what's going to happen next. I've been talking to fans on YouTube, Twitter, and Reddit, and we all hope you'll be able to react to it. Uh, react to this amazing show. Please check it out if you can. Thank you so much for your time. Megan S. from California. I don't know that I agree with the first couple episodes because I've watched... I think I watched two episodes of it. I did. I want to watch more, but I stopped in case we ever reacted yeah. to it. So it was it good looked, enough in the first couple. Like yeah, yeah, just like, like a good episode. Like, like, like Eric and I both watched some episodes of Gotham, and yeah. it didn't pull either one of us into it enough where we're like, I want to keep watching Grand, that or was we season should one. react to it. Yeah. I, heard, I heard it picked up. But yeah, I've heard too that it also picks up in other seasons. But so many shows do that. Yeah, but the Parks one, and Rec. You're watching Parks and Rec right now? Yeah. Season one takes a little bit to get into it, but after that, it's awesome. I'm waiting to get there. I like Office season one. I like talk on season one. Yeah. What are you I doing? like it, but I love it. <coughs> Look, why are you doing that? I'll say Take this. It I, I've heard a lot about it also, and I, I heard Gus saw it. He's yeah, watched the one hundred. He said he's very pleased. I heard the one hundred is really good. I, it's always on IGN's front page when yeah. they're going over. So it. Yeah. I, I'd like to watch we'll, it at some point. But we'll eventually yeah. get to it. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff on our yeah. list. Eventually, so. we'll get to everything, pretty much. Maybe. I mean, there's a lot of stuff and more stuff always there's, coming out. There is definitely. So more I can't stuff. say we're gonna get everything, but there's stuff on our list that we're looking at. Yeah. Definitely. But thank you, Megan. We thank you, Megan. the letter. I'm loving the letters, guys. Yeah, yeah it is. is. Dear Blind Wave, hello, my name is Alex, and I am from Georgia. I have been watching your channel since the old one, and I think you guys are amazing at what you do, making great videos and making me laugh and smile, and I considered you guys as some of my best friends. I loved your Kylo Ren fan film. It was 10 out of 10, and I love your flash and air reaction. I am so happy you guys started to watch Avatar. It's one of my favorite shows I have watched. So if I had to tell you guys, remind me... Tell who you guys remind me Tell who you guys remind me of in the show, I would say Eric would be Uncle Iroh. Oh, because you are a funny person so and cool. could kick, sh kick ass. Shane would be Sokka because you are like a badass warrior and really funny. Boomerang. Uh, Calvin would be King Boomy, a funny and crazy <laughs> person, and a badass. Aaron, I can't say sorry because the character hasn't been shown yet. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought he was going to be like, Aaron, I don't fucking know. Yeah, <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, who cares? Again! <laughs> I thought if you guys had to do a blind wave Hunger Games, who would win? I don't know, Hunger... We're gonna go a little obvious, a little obvious. That joke, Calvin. <laughs> Me. Like, is well, it depends what the games are. Like, if there's food on the table, like who can be hungry the longest? I'm, I'm out. I'll, yeah. I'm out immediately. Yeah. I'm out. Is it who can? <laughs> is it who can eat it the fastest? Hey, Cause Calvin's out. out. Fuck yeah, dude. This guy takes forever to eat. Yeah. I can eat so much. But well, I can. But I can I ration myself. That yeah. I can make then, my food what, last much that's longer. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it it, it depends guys. on how the Hunger Games yeah. work. Yeah. It's a matter of if it's like a hot dog eating contest. I mean, well, Aaron likes to eat hot dogs. Yeah, I'm good at those. I mean, he goes whole yeah. all the way down. And they're gone like that. Yeah. No bun. Calvin, it takes him like a minute to eat half of them. Pretty much. I enjoy my food. Shane isn't allowed. His dad doesn't let him eat hot dogs. Yeah. He thinks they resemble... No. It's a safety thing. You have Big Mac sauce when you couldn't finish. When... Shane's like, I'm looking at Shane, and he has Big, Mo Big Mac sausage rolling down his lip, and he's like... <laughs> oh, that's sorry. Funny. Oh my god. Well, I remember my mom would buy hot dog packs, and uh, my dad would just take them. Go hot dogs. He'd grab them, just take them, and just throw them off the back portion of the woods. Because yeah, like, he was an anti hot dog. He was a cop. He saw. He said he saw a lot of kids well, choking well, hot dogs. Morally, he was a fireman. He was a fireman. He ran okay. emergency squad. He said that's what they do, Shane. We're out here in the country. If you can choke a hot dog, you're gonna die. <laughs> all right, maybe I'll cut a little hole right here, yeah. and maybe try to make you breathe. All right, I've done that a couple times, and the boys have died in my arms. 
Because yeah, hot yeah, dogs. He'd always tell me that. So I'm like a freak about him now. Like I don't want my youngest daughter having them. I get you. Uh, I just I don't want my, my other daughter having them either. Yeah. I don't even cut them. I'm here. Eat this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. So yeah, yes. I, I dice them up, man. No, I just give oh. them a hot dog. I dice like diced onions. So who would win in the Hunger Games? games. Okay, yeah. What's this Hunger Games thing? Me or Calvin. Um, if it was like the movie, like that means like we're in the woods fighting each other, right? Yeah. Calvin has the advantage in the woods because that's where he was raised. True. I spent some time in the woods. I spent a lot of time in the woods. I have. Like honed my survival. Shane would too. get to the swords for like the weapons first, so he'd probably get he'd only he'd gimp his knee. He would o- only if it was within like four hundred meters. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. meter dash. Twenty meter dash. I was proficient in every event. If it's a long yeah. way, he wouldn't do a good job. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. I had a re- I had a record in one, but I was proficient in all. All right, that doesn't Man. exist anymore. <laughs> So, so once it, just, it exists, it, once, it, it once people get to the weapons, then what? It depends what kind of weapon you can Are there going to be like coalitions made, or is it going to say all 1v1v1v1? I don't know. Because they make coalitions in the hunger. I'd, be, I'd probably die first because I was so distracted looking for the food. <laughs> Where is hunger? The, I, I, thought, thought I volunteer! Food. I volunteer! I'm <laughs> 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 like, you're killing kids. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Okay. Let's oh continue my God. Where are the juniper berries? What color are they? <laughs> <laughs> also, if you could live in a movie or TV show, what would it be? For me, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings or Pokemon. Mm. Uh, those all sound good. I mean, but what if I? What if you what don't if have live, any force powers? You say, what if I live in Star Wars and I'm Greedo or something? <laughs> yeah, Fuck, and, and you just die because, <laughs> yeah. because Han is actually good. I, I suck so much, people can't even decide if I have a shot first or not. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it doesn't even matter. Even you know, die either way. They don't even know if Han shot first or not, but he still beat me. Yeah. I'd I don't like, know if I'd be that. I'd like to be a... Harry Potter would be cool. Force-sensitive... If you're a muggle. Smuggler. <laughs> I, that'd be cool. That'd be neat. Yeah. You know, like, that'd be your luck. You're in a Harry Potter universe, but you're just a muggle. Yeah. Mug blood or whatever. I can, Maybe, buy, I can buy shit. Maybe X-Men universe, because there's such a preponderance of mutants... True. ...that you have a good chance of being a mutant. I, I would just choose Pokemon, because anyone can just get a Pokemon. Probably Pokemon. That's true. Pokemon's pretty fucking Anybody good. can be a Pokemon trainer. I mean, but yeah. if it's in the real world, we have to have a serious conversation about the ethics of making these fucking things fight each other. No, you don't. They no, don't I mean, they don't die. They get healed. They're fine. They it's a relationship evolve. between what, the trainer. Pikachu po- almost died maybe from those a, damn spirits. Okay, but maybe there's they a rule. That was the first episode. Yeah, but they saved him. What if it's a rule that you can only have six... And you don't get to storm in your PC. Um, that way they're st- not trapped st- in a little way to be. Thing. That's not the Pokemon world that I know. Yeah, I know. They're still trapped in the Pokeball. Yeah, but you can let them out and hang out with them. Ash yeah. hung out with them all the time, and they were very happy. That's okay? true. Those cartoon characters were very happy. They were. I will try to send something more than just a letter next time. Thanks for all the great videos you guys make, and congrats on 100,000 subs. You guys deserve it so much. And Shane, thanks for adding me on Snapchat. Of course you did. And last, Shane or Calvin, hit the button, and no, may the force be with you always. Yeah, we don't have a. We don't have. Hey, a you're welcome, Shane's brother. face instead. Uh, yeah, that's good. Do it again. Hit it harder. Do it again. No. It's still smiling. It still looks good, though. It's still. Sorry if something is spelled wrong or doesn't make sense. Nah, it's good, man. Good. It's Calvin, good, man. Calvin Thank you for that letter, brother. Hit me up on Snapchat anytime you want, Except man. Except for those Pokemon ethics, that doesn't make any sense. You brought that up. Dude, could you imagine Thank though you. If we lived in a world with like a real Charizard, a real Blastoise, Holy a real shit. Venusaur? Yeah, but Pokemon be they killing got, people. They got eaten in the wild. What if you just get jacked by them, man? That's why you keep one with you. You get jacked by them? Not everybody's Pokemon He's... trainer, are they? Charizard just comes up and <laughs> Shane Farley. Shane Farley, Blind Elite Productions. I don't know what happened. But I heard Shane Farley. From Crystal. Crystal. Montiego. Mon. No, his name is Crystal Montiego. It's uh, killed my father. Montenegro. Montenegro. Prepared to die. Montenegro. 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 Okay. I'm saving that stamp. Okay. Hey, it's typed for it, buddy. Oh, shit. Yay! Maybe you can read it. I'm excited. Aaron. I read mine. I read mine, too. Dear Shane and the rest of the Blind Wave crew, you guys have the best YouTube channel. Except yeah. Aaron sucks. <laughs> Simple as that. Just Aww. kidding. Oh, my God. It really says it. <laughs> <laughs> Says just kidding, Aaron. Yeah, it's no, a joke. No, I didn't really say just kidding. It just said just <laughs> kidding about. That, I was Aaron. just kidding about. It. I was just saying just kidding. What? Says just kidding about that Aaron statement. Ha ha. I was quoting Shane from Mailbag Number Thirty Two. <laughs> Smiley face. Smiley face. I've been a fan and subscriber since beginning of 2016, and I have much love for all four of you. Thank you. I first noticed you guys when Eric and Shane did reactions to Walking Dead season six. Walking Dead again. All right. I then watched all of your Game of Thrones reactions because I started watching the Game of Thrones series around the same time Calvin Binge. did. Yeah. You guys are also the reason I got into Ruby. By the way, that case 
gift was just so awesome. Yeah. Oh, the poster? Yeah. yeah. That's your back there. Move. M- move this way. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. What surprised me the most was Thanks, that I enjoyed like... watching your mailbag videos. <laughs> now, here I am, now writing this letter. Smiley face. Right before writing this letter, I signed up to become a $1 a month Patreon. Patreon. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Aaron begged me pretty much. on a pre- No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aaron mentioned the idea on a previous mailbag of someone buying a gift slash prepaid card that pulled out a dollar per month to support your Patreon. Yeah, and Dababa I loved- did that, right? Yeah, yeah I loved Dababa that idea first. so much that I did it too. By the way, if it's obvious enough if who I is. directed this letter to, Shane, you are my favorite Blind Wave crew member. Well, thank Ooh. you. Ooh, thank you. I think you are really hot and, and love that you are also into into health and fitness as well. Well, thank you. The iTunes gift card is for you because I think you guys Ooh. mentioned before that Shane has an iPhone. I do! Thank you! He does. He does. We thank don't. you! We no. don't. No. Thank you! If you don't have an iPhone or don't want the gift card... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're welcome to give it to your wife and kids. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. As for the rest of the crew, I'm really sorry I didn't send anything else. But I truly love and support the four of you. Congrats on gaining over 100,000 subscribers. Calvin. Your Kylo Ren <laughs> fan film was really awesome. The four of you are so talented. I know that the day will come when you guys will reach your goals and be working blind way full time. That'd be sweet. Yes. Eventually, yeah. Getting there. When We're that day on. comes, I pray... That it's everything you expect it to be and more. Also, I hope it makes your lives happier, just like you guys make ours. Shane, you are one cool and very sexy guy. Very sexy man. Hit me on Snapchat. If I ever write you guys again in the future, I will only refer to you as Sexy Shane. Well, that's what, these guys call me off camera. So. No, we don't. Do Eric, that. I love Greasy. your voice, your charisma, Greasy, maybe. your hair. You're my second favorite crew member. One small step behind Shane. One small. Yeah, yeah small. No, small. Your name is in the same sentence. I wonder who, Calvin, the, I wonder you're who their least favorite member is. Hold on. Calvin, <laughs> you're cute, and how is it, you really seem innocent and yet dangerous at the same oh, time? Oh shit! Hey. And Aaron, smiley face. No, no it, just said, it just says nothing. <laughs> and Aaron, dot dot dot. I love that we've made this a thing. I felt so bad. I had to... <laughs> he, he lied that it was a smiley face. Oh man. Oh, I love it. That's how it ends, isn't it? Yeah. Sincerely, Crystal, aka Lady underscore Lady Alpha. Alpha on YouTube. Crystal, hit me on Snapchat, girl. Yeah, Shane loves uh, Snapchat. Yep. Thank you very much for this. I'm taking this. I will definitely be downloading some tunes to work out to, because I am running out. You're running out of tunes. You're running out of tunes. Running out of money. Out of money. Running out of money. He, got, <laughs> he got some tunes and then he ran out of those. So. The songs have slowly depleted. Well, like, yeah. needs a refill. My computer's broke so I can't put all my pirate music on there. So I'm yeah. fucking buying shit. It's like a fool. Thank you very much for the thank letter. Thank you, Crystal. Very flattering. And thank, and thank you, you for, for uh, helping out the the running gag of yeah, not and addressing it. And, and thank you for supporting some Patreon, too. Uh, we appreciate that Absolutely. A lot. Patreon. Thank that's, you very that's much. Our, that's our life, fan. Thank you. Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. I feel so bad because Aaron gets that and he gets a spoon. No. There you go. Alright, what's this? Eric. A spoon! A no. ship to Eric from Matt! Matt! That's Hori Hanzo! Ooh, this is one of those hard ones. Hard plastic. I'm glad he clarified that. Yeah, I love those hard ones. Yeah. Ooh, I think I, I don't I like those soft ones. I can tell what it is already. The flag? It's the Highland Crest. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. That's good, though. That's amazing. That could be a tablecloth. That Dude, you think it's bigger. Flag Day! Oh! That's awesome. I can just keep it right here for right now. <laughs> uh, Calvin cut it. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, right. Great, thank you, Matt! <coughs> this is cool. This is really cool. Yes. Yeah. No! No! Help me, Dad! Thank you, sir. Thank you, Matt. It's cool. Just wears it as a cape. You see that fold? Nope. That was amazing. Don't call me a full fold. You fold. <laughs> what? There's something in there. Congrats to 100,000. And there's like confetti and streamers. Yay! It's only natural that the happiest thoughts and best wishes follow. Hope this is just the start of more great things coming your way. Best wishes always. That's what the card says. Thank you. Congratulations. Like when good things happen to good people. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Just read first. Just read that. Can I have that? You tried what? to throw this did, away. I did Calvin, throw it he's away. in control of his own gift. Give it to him. He tried to throw <laughs> it away. <laughs> I didn't try to throw nothing away. They always take people's gifts. 
<laughs> yeah. Trying to control, control no. the table. <laughs> no, he <laughs> tried to control the table. He throw it away. Hey, Blind Wave, congrats on 100,000. You deserve it. I hope you guys like the card. Also, yep. there's a photo of me with it. I felt it fair for you guys to see what I look like, although I'm not pretty like my fellow wave riders. That's sad. They're very beautiful wave riders. And you are one of them. All. All of them. All of them. Speaking of, I'd like to give a shout out to the usual suspects, Katie Stubbs in the UK. Katie Stubbs. Jeff Katie. Knapp. Jeff Knapp. Jeff Knapp. Kimberly, creators of love. Come creators back. Love. Officer Wood. Dan P. Hi, Mr. Wood. <laughs> Charles in Tampa. Oh. Not Shane. <laughs> not Shane? <laughs> Bad Man Is that what that says? Yeah, not Shane. No, not Shane. Fat Man Chad. Agent J. Drunk Michael. Not that Michael. So many. Mr. No Name and Kevin K Dog. K Dog. Awesome K Dog. Video. Awesome video, man. Now, if I may, I'm going to get sappy. Thank you for all of your hard work and everything you guys do. Also, for being good people. I sent you something to an I sent something to another YouTuber once and was made to look like an idiot. What? Who's this person? We'll fuck them up. Uh, you guys mm-hmm. never do that. You treat us with respect. You make us instinct. feel like old friends. So thank you. After watching your reaction to the Bugs episode, <laughs> I was inspired to make what I call a fear test. Could be fun. Lastly, I'm so excited for Doctor Strange and the Justice League movies. Don't worry, Eric. Ezra Miller is awesome. I'm sure he's going to be real good. Congrats, guys. Never change. Thank you. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. Ah! Got it. Ah! Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Megan. Hey, can I get a nickname, too? Megan. Is that Megan Sanders? Yeah, Megan Sanders. Megan Sanders. Yeah. Um... Same. Well, we saved her from the gnomes. Well, I, just, I know her name so well. Yeah. I, I know. I like Megan Sanders. I think that's a good name. There's Megan. I, I Megan, Megan. Megan, Megan. Aww. Christmas. Christmas, Megan. Cool. Now, where does she live again? Do we know this? She's close. Like, not Zanesville, but she lives up 77. She had seven one oh, time. okay, cool. Oh, did she? Yeah. Yep. All right, Megan, we won't show your picture just because we don't know if you want that out to exactly. 30,000 people or not, but... thirty. Well, sometimes these ones, these male bats get a lot of views. Sometimes they get like and ten. You're pretty. Or shut your uh, mouth. Yeah, shut your mouth, woman. <laughs> All right, you guys want to do this, see this fear test real quick? Yeah, fear test. What do you fear more, snakes or rats? More? I mean, I have to choose one. Yeah. Uh, uh, rats. Rats. Probably rats. Dis- disease. Disease. Spread disease. I would say snakes. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I don't want to get bit by a poison snake. I've, but I've, if I see a, like a rat, and I'm like, oh, I've, kill, I've killed a lot of snakes. I don't want to kill any rats. Um, what do you fear more, drowning or freezing? Drowning. I'd say probably. Well, how Drowning. long does it take you to freeze? Like two weeks? No. Because that'd be terrible. <laughs> Drowning wow. still. Uh, which one do you fear more? Clowns or heights? Heights. heights. Oh, yeah, beat heights. The fuck out of clowns. I don't fucking care about clowns. I thought you hate clowns. I can't beat the no, fuck out of heights. Who hates clowns? Clown. Really? Yeah. I don't like clowns. In water. I thought you hate clowns. Clowns in water. I mean, ooh, yeah, like aquatic I hate clowns. clowns. Clown 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 Could you imagine like... an aquatic clown? Yeah. Clowns like, uh, shit! Fuck. That's like <laughs> Mr. Mime. All right. Mr. Heart! Sorry. Needles or knives? Needles. Um, I'm not really afraid of them. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I'm not really afraid, but yeah. as far as like the connotations of like having a dirty needle stuck in me rather than like, a knife, what you want, Aaron? Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. That's a good way to put yeah. it, Calvin. Uh, I fuck, yeah. <laughs> spiders or darkness? Mm, spiders. Spiders. I can see in the dark. Yeah, but yeah. with, his, with you're darkness. in the dark and you know there's spiders dark, there, you darkness. can't find them. No, you have to. Have, it can't. It can't be both. Okay. Darkness is scary because you both. don't know what could be in it if you don't know what's in it. Spiders, just because like yeah, but there, there, there couldn't be spiders. See, I don't know. That's that part of the rule. Okay, here's my thing with darkness. I don't know if I'm afraid of darkness, but if like I'm in the middle of the woods and it's dark and I can't see and I hear noise. Yeah. Now I'm fucking scared of the dark because I can't see what's around. I was around. born in it. You know what I mean? Motivated by it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Flying or tight spaces. Uh. I've never I, flown before. I'd probably say tight, tight spaces. I would really like enjoy that, flying. I would love so. to fly like fucking Vegeta. Yeah, like but my dream. Yeah, but that fucking that you know that little tunnel you get stuck in like in my dreams. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't like tight spaces. That's one of my worst fears: is slide down a slide head first, and then yeah. you get smaller, you get stuck, and then you get out because you're upside down. And yeah. It's like 100 feet in the air. <laughs> 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 what's what's scarier, dolls or mannequins? Um, mm, mannequins don't have posable. Appendages. I, I can I can knock them over. I probably say like, dolls. Yeah, some dolls, like dolls are creepy. I don't know if I'm really scared to be the one. But like those ones dolls. that where you tip them back and their eyes. I, their eyes really yeah. I mean, if these things are coming to life, is that what it is, or just them in general? Yeah. If they're coming to life, you know what? <laughs> I think I could beat the shit out of both of them, but I could probably beat the shit out of the dolls more than the mannequins. I don't know if it's like a uh, 
a don't blink kind of scenario. Yeah. Where the mannequins just move and you and you never see them move. Yeah. That would be way creepier than we just have a to, doll running. We had to just look at them and knock them over. We have to don't blink. define the rules. All right. I mean, that's true. I'll right. be the okay, how about this? What's scary with this? Hearing whispers or hearing footsteps? I don't hear much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's deaf. I'd probably, hear, probably, I don't know. If I hear whispers, it'd be like lost and I'd love it. <laughs> yeah. Like if you're just but, walking down down the street and you hear footsteps, would that be scarier? Would it be scary if you're walking and you just hear footsteps? Okay, honestly, if I heard whispers like coming out of that dark alley and there's no one there, I'd be fucking freaked out. Yeah. I think I'd get... I'm that sounds pretty scary. I don't know. I mean, but then again, when I'm like, when I hear footsteps, I just like, fuck. You know what I mean? That's so scary. we're assuming like we're by ourselves. Yeah, in the probably. Woods. Could be in the woods. You hear, yeah. or you could one. be like in the attic or something. Sure. Or like in a basement yeah. or an abandoned. Or warehouse. in your house, all alone, and you hear footsteps all of a sudden. Could yeah. that be scary? But I would yeah, say if you whisper- were just fucking alone. You heard fucking whispers. I would say whispers because that implies that there's more than one speaker. Whereas footsteps could just be one person. I beat the shit out of that guy. Yeah, but we, I don't know. I think I, I, think, fo- <laughs> I think footsteps are gonna be scary. Yeah. I think footsteps for like, me. My my imagination okay. of it is like I'm like in my house by myself, and all of a sudden I just hear walking around, yeah. and I'm like, what? the fuck I'm, and then just Calvin come to get the I, internet I'm gonna say whispers because I'm gonna come say get what I'm gonna get the internet <laughs> come to get the internet <laughs> I wasn't say, any last time I came I'm gonna say whispers because like my entire life is pretty much all I can hear is whispers because they don't hear people very well so that, and I'm afraid of my own uh, experience in that so okay whispers. I like this one being forgotten or being stalked um be forgotten you think? being forgotten yeah I could deal with stalkers yeah. yeah, you'd be the shit. Out. <laughs> yeah, being forgotten—that's my worst. Fear. Being forgotten could be scary. Yeah, I guess. yeah. Like just... Because someone like me that like doesn't necessarily have like a belief in like the afterlife and stuff—that's all you really got when you're gone. You know, people remembering, remembering you. So, yeah. forgotten. Yeah, YouTube channel. Remember us. I don't know if I'll be remembered for this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How about someone, someone in the closet or someone under the bed? Like a gay person. <laughs> what? Like no. or as a gay person like under my bed? Like something's in your closet <laughs> oh. my or something's under your bed. Okay. Um, my I bed is my safe space. Hmm? I you spat in the exact same I, spot twice. I think I'm more scared of something under my bed. Shut it out, then you can't count them. No. All right. All right. I think I, I think I'd be more scared of something under my bed. Yeah. Because your closet, you can lock, watch your door, and if it starts to open, you fucking yeah. get out of there. Yeah. But yeah, like, like that last bed, episode of, of your bed, something could just whoosh, and just one. Ah! Yeah. The bed implies something more supernatural, I believe. Like underneath the bed. Yeah. Well, same thing. Depends how much closet. space is under there. I don't know. What if like like my yeah, parents had like, 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 a water bed where there was an actual like crawl space underneath and it was huge under there. Yeah. Like anybody. What was like there. the bed and have, meet the fuckers? Have you guys ever heard and, that? Like there's like a fucking CIA fucking office down there. Have you guys ever heard that like, urban legend of like that girl that comes home and like she lays down and gets ready to go to bed and everything? She has like this dripping or whatever in her bathroom and she kind of gets scared and like she'll always like her dog will always like lay down by her bed and she'll like put her hand down and the dog will sit there and like rub her hand and lick it and stuff like that yeah and like the the next like morning she like she heard something dripping it was kind of scared heard noise outside she put her hand down her dog was there calmed her down and then she got up the next morning and went into her bathroom where her dog was hanging dripping blood and she turned around and under her bed was a man sleeping yeah <laughs> Isn't that fucking scary yeah it's scary <laughs> it's an urban legend i think but yeah probably that, that'd be fucking scary as hell kill my dog man yeah. well, it sounds because it sounds yeah. real i would yeah. cut his dick off yeah and f- try to go feed him my dead dog. In his dead dog mouth. <coughs> um, I, I would say. Under my bed. I would say. Uh, under the my, bed, I think yeah. my under my bed was my place of solace. That's where I hid That's it. My you... dad kicked my ass. Oh really? Yeah. And then I I went through a phase. This is really weird. I I just remembered this. I went through a phase where I slept in my co- closet. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Like I would have like a bunch of like clothes and like bean bags and stuff in there. And like I would like like I had to go to bed and I just like didn't want to but to rebel I would sleep in my bed I slept in the closet so I just went in the closet my mom would just in the morning like can't find me and she opens the closet I'm just I made right a right in there like a stupid little kid I made a four in my closet so I kind of did that yeah <laughs> so I don't really I don't really fear either of and those. monsters ain't kind of water you know I would prefer water. not to be the size of the space under my bed is much more vast yeah adequate place for a villain to hide yeah a creepy cemetery or a spooky carnival. Cemetery. Carnival. I think carnival. carnival. Yeah, carnival. I can't Cemetery. imagine a carnival being spooky. Aren't mo? Aren't well? I mean, it is. Well, a spooky there's carnival. Car- they're full of carnies, have man. You, have What's you, wrong with carnies? My uncle's a carny. Have you seen something wicked this way comes? He's racist. So, what, yeah, carnies aren't a race. I mean, what, Ray a, Bradbury. There's already a lot of a, creepy cemeteries, but carnivals aren't supposed to be a spooky place. Yeah. So when you go to a carnival well, expecting fun and it's a fucking creepy ass place, yeah. the monsters. I can, I can only I can only answer this question through my worldview. Cemeteries. I don't. I think it's just. You know, dead bodies and stuff like that. 
there's grief and stuff there, but there's not like any anything scary. Carnies, there could be some fucked up carnies. Yeah, you know, fucked and it's supposed carnies. to be a place of yeah. fun, and you go there and you get spooked in fucking shit and clowns. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes there is shit there too. They have to like mop it. <clears throat> well, poor John's. Being in a strange place or strangers in your home. Strangers in my home, one hundred percent. I'm in strange places a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, sense. what? I say strangers in your, in your home. Too. I mean, did, yep. did you invite them though? N- no, there's no, strangers. There's, there's strangers in your home. That's why you're hearing footsteps. Everybody, come in! I don't care who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't invite strangers in your home. Yeah, strangers right. in the home. Wet swamp, dark forest. What is it? Wet swamp or a dark? I forest? I get drown in the in the wet swamp. swamp. I say wet swamp. Like, wet swamp. Like, like yeah. my heavy well, body. My there? heavy body gets like stuck and it becomes ah. like you know. Dude, alligators, oh, especially if it's a fire swamp. Fuck. Sharks or octopi? And mosquitoes. Octopi. Uh, Octopi? I'm, 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 I'm really afraid of sharks. 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 I'm sharks. sharks. Sharks, man. Uh, yeah, not. Octopi. I'm not afraid of rocks. Pie. After I saw the beast the movie, even though it's a squid. It's not real. I saw After real I saw though. the beast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it's a fucking giant octopus. Um. Well, I probably better if it was. I mean, if a giant shark. Right. You just make it giant, then fine. But what about a giant shark? I would just stab him in the fucking eyes. It's I'd giant. Hit him though. in the nose. It's giant. It's, it's a giant it's nose. Some away. It won't. I'm, you know how ha- hard you have to hit him to actually like. Pretty hard. You stab in the eyes, which was incredibly hard. Yeah, but I don't think it's like octopus like attacking people. Well, they just they fucking, just fucking run. Are, you about, are we in a cage and they're just floating around us? Well, they what? get out of like, like any cage, can't they? Can't they like, get out of like things that are like that fucking yes, big? Yes, they can. The, the size of their beak yeah. is the size of thing they can fit. Like through. if you have like a like they have like, no body mass really. They yeah, have, they can squeeze their entire body through it. They have no skeleton or anything. They can fit Skel- through it. The, yeah. Their beak is the only thing that's, that's hard, hard enough that it This can't. is actually, this is kind of scary, but there's a, there's a video online of an octopus getting out of the tank. It's in an aquarium. It gets, it opens its tank. It gets out of the tank. It goes to the floor. It crawls over to the other fish tank, gets inside that, eats a bunch of shit, gets out, and goes back into its own fish tank and puts the lid back on. <laughs> oh, shit. Is a video of it? Yeah, it's that's a video. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're really smart. smart. Yeah. Like right. they can they can tell the difference between different textures, yeah, and shapes, yeah, and well, colors. Can they change like what they look like to hide and some of them? And shit? Some of them can. Fuck. Yeah. Like the fucking mouth man. <laughs> All right. Mouth, no, you left last me thing is, you, would you, man, are you more afraid of being buried alive or being eaten alive? Oh fuck. Shit, I don't know. I mean, buried alive. Probably buried. I might say buried alive too. <sighs> eaten alive, at least. I mean, it's gonna fucking suck, but it'd be over faster than just being yeah. stuck. In a small, tight spot. Plus, I mean, I'm I I, I died the way I lived. <laughs> what? <laughs> eaten? I was trying to think of a fat joke for it, but I was like, I died the way I lived, being eaten. There are various strategies that you can employ if you're if you're buried in a coffin, even one with minimal space. Yeah. That people have actually used and survived, like the the five inch punch, Kill Bill. <laughs> well, it's seen it. Oh yeah, you've seen it. Okay. I, I've seen that, but you can like. Either at the the foot or the head of the coffin, you can break a hole and start packing feet or the dirt down around. Yeah, and you can actually get out up to like I think it was like eight feet or something like that. Sure, depending on the space that you were uh, actually buried Buried in. Those are one of those fucking metal coffins. Well, then you're fucked. Isn't there a story about like? Isn't there a story about like some community that like had a bunch of accidental buried alive? They started they started putting putting bells bells in their. It's happened a lot. Well, that's uh, people with comas and stuff like that. I think they put a bell on the like the ground and like has some kind of string right Yeah, it right. right. runs down like, the you ground and they open and ring the bell. Now, right? I was in a cemetery and I was walking by and then like as I was walking bells were ringing like and I started running and they started ringing more with me. That would be scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, they that, all start ringing. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! As I'm running there's more of them I'm out of breath. Ah! <laughs> That's actually where the term graveyard shift came from. Yeah. Is people would actually have to stay at the graveyard all night and listen for a bell in case they mm. accidentally buried someone alive that was in like a coma or yeah. near death and illness or something and like that. grave robbers. I yeah. mean, they watch for that, but generally they don't ring the bell if they're being robbed. <laughs> I'm being robbed! <laughs> okay. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. An adventure in space and time. Full-throated, doc- heartfelt origin story of Doctor Who. Origin story? Starring David Bradley, Filch, Walter Frey, as William Hartnell. Oh, yeah? This movie details... The beginning of Doctor Who, the amazing movie, is a must-have, so have it. Enjoy, Crow. So did it start out huh. as, a, as a movie or something? It might just be talking Crow about... Again? It's, I think it's a documentary, isn't it? it uh, yeah, it's a documentary. Oh. Okay. Crow! Thank you, Crow. Very cool. I haven't seen this before. 
Calvin will watch that with great interest. Crow! Prequel thing. Thank you. Neil Cox! Neil! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Collector Calvin. Core. Calvin, who's that? The Punisher patch. Hey, you good. Oh. We, we can get cut so we can ride a motorcycle and put these patches on. <laughs> yeah. Is this Miss Marvel? That might be Mrs. Marvel, I think. I think hey, these are from Funko. Huh. These are made by Funko. Nice. Deadpool size matters. IMAX first showing. That's cool. I didn't know what, the point. I don't know what this is. Whoa. September 5th, 2016, Dear Blind Wave. Congrats on Kylo Ren, the Awakening film. Thank you. It was truly amazing. Thank you, brother. Everyone did a great job. Thank you again for putting out amazing content. When I watched the previous mailbag, number 32, it cheered me up. Thank Good. you for that so much. You're welcome. What I have in this envelope are patches from yeah. a bi-monthly subscription called Collector Corps. Collector uh, Core. Collector Core. Yeah, the P is silent. Collector Core. The patches include Crossbones, yep. Miss Marvel, oh. yep. Kamala Khan, and your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Yeah. Also included is my IMAX ticket to when I saw to when I saw Deadpool. Hell yeah, That's man! Ticket? That's, That's awesome. awesome. Thank you, dude. Shit. You the artwork on the ticket is so awesome. I wanted y'all to have it. It is that's, awesome. That's Thank really you, good. man. Question time. Eric, Questions. What is your favorite episode of The Office? Me? Jello. Oh. I don't even know like a two. Episode. Favorite episode. I love Diversity Day. Um, the one where they wear the things on their head? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that one. That's good. a great one. But I also love... <clears throat> man. I love The Wedding. I love uh, fucking... The dinner party. That one's a hard oh one to watch, but that's gosh, so good. That's so cringy. Yeah. That's uh, And then Scott's Tots. Don't, don't oh, that, one that one. <laughs> Scott's Tots? Yeah. Well, you might not have gotten to it yet. Probably haven't got there yet. Fuck that one. I don't know hard. The last one's also very good. Mine was stress relief when Dwight starts a fire drill and later oh Michael has gosh. a... Yeah, that's yeah, a great that's one. Amazing. I, don't know that. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. Shane, you said your most effective workouts were... Power clean, squat, and bench. Your deadlift, squat, and bench. What were your max? When I played football, mine were power clean 245, squat 350. That's a good squat. And bench 250. That's a good bench. The most I deadlifted was 405, which is a lot. My best squat for five reps, three sets of five reps, was uh, 305. You hit three? Over three? Yeah, 305. And... Uh, was that one? And my best bench of my life was 230. Yeah. My weight a lot less, too, so it was yeah. better. Calvin, do you have any tips on growing an awesome beard like yours? Um, Don't touch it. <laughs> do nothing. <laughs> Won't shower? Won't shower? No, you actually do have to shower Don't. like more often. Don't with trim beard. it. Keep it well moisturized, definitely. Um, not just the hair, but the skin under the beard. Um, no, I'm fine. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I was gonna drop. I, I wish that down. we could commit and went into this. I was thinking about just doing. Uh, I was just gonna. Like, <laughs> but I couldn't. Yeah, I know. I, I usually rock a right. goatee, but I'm starting to grow an awesome ginger beard. Ginger. Ginger beard. beard. Yeah. Those are good beards. Aaron, which Power Rangers have you seen, and which ones are your favorite? Oh, um, series wise. Yeah, his are Ma Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season one. Yep. S S P D. S P D. I haven't really seen S P D. Jungle Fury. RPM and yeah. Dino Charge. See, I haven't really seen SPD, RPM, Mystic Force. Um, I'd watch like Samurai. I'd P watch Mystic. Ninja Storm. Um, I'd watch like the first ten seasons. Yeah. Um, pretty much all the way through. What's, your, what's your favorite? I, 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 my my favorite thing. I, I don't know if I can limit it to one of the series because mm -hmm. I love the first five iterations of the Power Rangers because they all go from one to the next. It's like one big story arc. Sure. And I loved how they did that. Favorite. Dino Thunder was really good. Dino Thunder. I like Dino Thunder a lot okay. too. One last thing since I wasn't since I won't have the budget to buy things, would y'all like me to send fan art? Yes. Yeah. Brother, you can send whatever you want, man. Dude, or we can send fan nothing. Awesome. We appreciate and we appreciate this letter. Mm -hmm. I used to draw when I was a kid and would love to pick it back up and draw pictures of what of what re uh, <coughs> of what react to or are interesting to y'all thank you for reading my letter and being my friend hope y'all have a great week from neil cox neil cox thanks neil thanks for the letter neil this thank is you, awesome man. thank you and the thank artwork you. on this yes. ticket is, is amazing neil you know we'll talk it's on snapchat man so sweet. hit me up on it so good i like how it says size matters on yeah
We had okay. to sign for this. Need sign for. See? Doesn't need sign for anymore. Ooh. Ooh. I think I know what this is. One yeah. Punch Man! One Punch oh, Man! Shit. Volume 1 to 12. End, it says. So, is this the whole thing? It's, it not, says, it's no. not a long series. It says mm -hmm. Volume 1 to 12. End. A lot of people seem to love it. I mean, it gets compared to, like, DBZ all the time. Mm -hmm. so, it's really good. I have a onesie with it on. I have we'll a onesie. Yeah, you do. We'll, definitely, for, check, we'll you, definitely check that out. Your baby does. I, it, 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 never mind. He allows the baby nope. to have it. Thank you very much, whoever that was. Thank you. Thank you. Let us know. Thank you. Good job, Aaron. Hit the mic. What's up, Blonde Wave crew? What's My up? name is Justin. Justin. A.K.A. JMX Nation. I know that name. On Twitter Ooh. and Discord. Been a fan of the channel since the old channel and love your reactions to Arrow and Flash. Also, the Avatar reactions. Pretty much everything yep, yep. but your Marvel TV show reactions. I'm more of a DC guy. Oh, that's okay. But I love the X-Men films, too. Yeah. I'm a huge pro wrestling fan, so when Eric and Aaron reacted to Stephen Amell's SummerSlam match last <laughs> we year, did. I lost it, haha. -ha. That's cool. My dream is to become a graphic designer. I've already started by designing flyers for pro wrestling shows in my area. <laughs> and I use Photoshop. I came up with a name for myself... As you can see, it's JMX Nation. Oh, sweet. I just love seeing how much work you put into your videos like I put into my designing. I recently became a $1 patron on your Patreon. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank That's you. about thank you. all I can give right now because I'm broke as hell. But <laughs> fine, fine. hopefully in the future I can give more because every week I get excited when I open up my YouTube and see Blindway videos for me to binge watch. Hell yeah. Well, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. I loved Kylo Winter Awakening. And can't wait for more short films of yours in the future. They're coming. Also, I want to thank Shane for bugging the rest of the crew to react to Stranger Things. You did. We did. It's my favorite show this year. Another thank you goes to Aaron because I just started Discord. And my first day I joined in voice chat. And we talked about Pokemon Go for an hour <laughs> with another with with another Blindway fans. It was fun and I can't wait to do it again. This boy can talk about Pokemon. Eric, thank you, because I think it was you who told me months ago on Twitter to watch Game of Thrones. It was one of the best things I've ever done in terms of deciding for TV shows in my life. to watch. And lastly, thank you, Calvin, for just being Calvin. Calvin. Listen, yeah. That's the best thing that I, I've done. And I'm going to watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> right? <laughs> and hopefully I talk to you on Discord sometime. Thanks for being awesome, guys. Can't wait for more of your channel. P.S. I think Calvin is a prequel hater. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm not. Ha ha. He is. He is. He's not. Thank I you. That joke. Hey, uh, we filmed we filmed a couple wrestling you. shows uh, when we were doing that. So. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I like that. So we, good luck with that. Yeah. Thank you for your letter, man. Ah. Uh, hey. It is L Street, nineteen seventy six. Wait a minute. I don't know what this is. Whoa. This is a document. It's on Netflix. I Star Wars. Oh yes, Star Wars badassery. Fight man, Chad. Ten bonus points. Sorry, so. Marcella. It is artistic. We always wake up Marcella's mom. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so it's a feature-length documentary. Okay, that's cool. This is about the people, like the extras. Oh. Wait. <laughs> and just like RB sauce or whatever. No, 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 no. no I'm good. I'm Get good. it out I'm of good. his face. I'm good. No! I mean, I might as well take a bite, honestly, because I've already got whatever illness, illness he had. I would just take a bite and spit it out on no, the table. No, I don't want it. I don't no, uh, but yeah, the there's there's a huge collection of Star Wars documentaries that like fans have made and stuff like that. That a lot of them are awesome, and I want to check this one out because I have not seen That's it. It's cool. Mm -hmm. One of it's called Elstree. Isn't that where ILM was based originally in London? Could be. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Four lions. It's funny, apparently. <laughs> what? Funny, 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 top ten movies in 2010. I never Wait. heard of this ever. A web smart slapstick comedy. Chris Morse's four lines take aim at jihad jihadi suicide bombers and illuminates the oh. war on terror through satire and farce. Okay, so it's about terrorism. All right, a wicked satire, fiercely funny film mm -hmm. delivers big laughs. Okay, I've never heard of it at Me all. Either, but it's apparently acclaimed. What you say? <laughs> Hi, Blind Wave. This is another one of my I favorite mean, movies. It's about a group of terrorists, so it's pretty dark but also funny. From Daniel in Ireland. Daniel. Okay, thank you, brother. P.S. Have you guys watched In In Brugs yet? In Brugs yet? In Bruges. Uh, in that's, Bruges. That, that's the movie that was. I haven't got a chance to see it yet, buddy. And if so, what do you think? I, we, we haven't got a chance. Yeah, to watch. I haven't got a chance to see it yet. 
Not we just, right now we've been so busy, and once we get get, uh, get going with the getting into our schedule for the television lineup, we'll probably have a little bit of time to watch that kind of stuff. Yeah. But thank you, Daniel. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Did you look forward to that, Daniel. I was looking at the funny thing, and like it's like there's just. Fox News, you know, Wall Street Journal, really? The Onion, like all these different things that just say funny, 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 funny. I'm like, are these are all real. Price is this. PlayStation One game. Adam Manbosch, two in one collection. Oh, hey, <laughs> these are uh, the audio books for Go the Fuck to Sleep. Oh, which what? Is, yeah, there's a. It's a book called Go the Fuck to Sleep. Give it to Calvin. I guarantee it's for Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one called You Have to Fucking Eat. <laughs> I, mean, I don't either. either I've, I've, oh seen, I've seen these ones. Uh, the Go to Fuck to Sleep has been narrated by Samuel Jackson. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hi, Blind Wave crew. Enjoy your gift. The audiobooks are for everyone as well, but may be claimed in the fight to the death if you wish. Go the Fuck to Sleep is narrated by Samuel Jackson from Kai, and You Have to Fucking Eat is performed by Brian Cranston. What? what? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Calvin needs to go to Fuck to Sleep one. He doesn't need that. Yeah. Nah. Um, I can go to sleep whenever I want. Thank yeah. you, Kai. Thank you. K. Key. Kai. K. K. E. I. K. E. I. Yeah. Yeah. There's a zip strip. No, there's not. No zip strip. Gift package. Yum. Yum. There was a zip strip. So. It says, Aaron, hopefully this will explain the nature of spoons to you. Huh? Be ever vigilant. Tone. P.S. I'm sending a Matrix poster with no note. You'll know it when you see it. <laughs> okay, that was Tone. We thank you, Tone. Oh, thank you, Tone. He needed that. <laughs> Sometimes the spoon runs away with another spoon. <laughs> it's a coloring book about two spoons. And a cat and a fiddle and a cow to the moon. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I recognize that now. And you're going to color in that book. As Calvin is hitting you with spoons. And then we're going to put on refrigerators and take pictures of it. Oh and put you on can use your own blood. Prince Charming searched high and low for the owner of the glass slipper to find out where to get a pair in his size. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tone. That's awesome. That's cool. I was always thumping. Thank you, Tone. And for the poster. Matrix. Yeah, the poster. There is a spoon, <laughs> unfortunately. Ah! Oh, the first one. Ooh, shit. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Whoa, Fuck. First, cool. we have a chrome Darth Vader. Whoa. Eric's favorite cool. color. And Optimus Prime. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Sorry, Jax. We actually don't have a regular Vader. We have one with his mask off. I like oh, that. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's badass. Right hey, there. crew. Hard Optimus dude. Prime is one of my favorite characters in movie TV history. So cool. when I saw this pop... I had to get it for you along with this badass Vader pop. That's a cool yeah. And Calvin, I hope you like the Vader beard shirt from your oh. friend in the UK, Katie. Katie, thank you, Katie. I love this. This feels like a kind of collector's thing. I knew, I knew it was for Calvin. Didn't say it on there. That's awesome looking, Katie. Katie's a rare one. Katie, stop. Katie, thank you, Katie. I cut myself. When I think about you, I cut myself for you. Looking for a zip strip where you go. There's, there's, there's not. There's not. I, I would have told you. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Katie <coughs> Stubbs. No, I was thinking whoever didn't bring a zip strip. Oh. Your fear of them increases my love for them. If you didn't. Oh, this is the box that we get shirts oh, in. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 Wait, look at the shirt. Yeah, look at the shirt first. Valar! <laughs> oh shit! It's the it's the uh, religion that sprung, sprung up, oh, right? Oh gosh! Look at this! <laughs> That's an awesome shirt, man. So Shane doesn't really know how to use Discord at tell, all. Tell the story. What happened? Yeah. Well, okay. I'm on my phone. And I've got, I had some time, so I logged on to Discord. And you know, you know, on the left side of the screen, it shows our like our, our notifications. Yeah. Well, I thought those were like the numbers of people over there. Or some shit. So I just click on uh, announcements. Announcements. Wh which and is I pretty much... Some, you, and don't, it, you don't chat in announcements. We just have announcements in there. Me yeah. and I had a nice chat the other day, though. No, we didn't have any chat. 
Yeah, it was I, nice. I deleted all the comments you put, and I made a new comment. I said, everyone, do not talk in announcements, and then yeah. I also tagged Shane. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I like that well, announcement. Well, anyways, so I said something, and no one said anything back. I realized my folly. So, blar! So he <laughs> just, went, he just put... So you put a new one in there? So, so what went, he did was he just posted, blar. And then I just fucking let, logged off. I'm like, fuck this motherfucker. And I just logged off. <laughs> and what happened is, uh, so it says, longtime fan and patron... A comedic present for Shane. Basically, you said Blar, sending general discord into a frenzy for like five hours. So, you okay. I came back like the next day and they were still talking about it. Rob told me that there was yeah. like a religion forming. Well, it's because Shane, is, his presence is so rare, you know? Cause he I've been some, getting on he fucking, kind of... He doesn't fucking know what to do when he's in there, you know? I'm kind of... So, I've, been, I've been kind of on... I, I told Rob he should add a new role that allows you not to type in announcements. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he doesn't need to have to type in Right? Yeah. You should remove that. All right, well, that's a really cool shirt. I like that. This is very awesome. Thank you. I love the little thing on the back also. <laughs> very thoughtful gift. What else? Did it say anything in there? Nate from the UK. Guardsman uh, Nate. Nate. Nate, thank you, man. Thank you, Nate. This, I, this is... I love it. Blar. Oh, I get the uh, the Joker Halloween box. Ah! It's a loot crate! What's this? What's this? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's okay. a pop. Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas. Aw, uh, Pumpkin Wait, King. Oh, there's Charlie Brown. This is a loot crate box, too. Thank you for sending oh. us a loot crate box. Charlie Brown? Oh shit! No. Isn't no, it? that's the Great Pumpkin, asshole. Oh. That is the Great Pumpkin. Holy fucking Brown! I don't really remember this movie. Because I'm Jack, the Pumpkin King. You remember Wait, that? Jack's also the Pumpkin King. Jack is the Jack's Pumpkin King. He's both. No, oh, what about Boogie Nights? Like the bad guy. Just Mark Wahlberg. Turn away from him. Uh, hi, Blind Wave. My name is Jonathan. I've been watching since mid September of last year. All right, so like a year. Thank you, bro. I believe I saw Eric and Aaron reacting to a death battle, and that's what got me to enjoying your content. You guys always make me laugh. Don't watch all of your reactions, so I won't get spoiled. Uh, my question to all of you is, what is your favorite colors in Magic the Gathering? Colors? Not just colors, but what's your favorite uh, one to use in Magic? Oh, I shit. like the fire. I also like uh, Swamp, like black. So. Yeah. Um, I was always a very like, like, like the green black. I don't. Know and it says what kind of decks do you like to run? I like fire dragon decks, dude. My favorite deck, yeah, was my infect deck, and everyone was pissed <laughs> all the time. It wasn't hated, huh? Okay. It was an infect deck. Okay, back back in the time it's when a, I, and it's it's an Aaron thing. Back in the time yeah. when I heavily played the, the way you play something that the way you play the game right made to be is you have like. You have like, is it 30 health? I think you start with normally, right? I can't remember. And then you have your mana and stuff. And yeah. You, okay, so like you play and you tap and you attack, right? Mm -hmm. And some people have healing abilities and they can heal themselves and all that. Well, there was a game mechanic that was implemented in this version of Magic, because they come out with new expansions all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And in this one, they added in what was called Infect. And if you got hit with an Infect uh, creature, instead of giving you, instead of taking away life, it gave you like a poison counter. Mm hmm. And if you got to a certain amount of poison counters. And there's counters. no way of removing a poison counter. And once you got to like 15 poison counters, you, you were dead. There's nothing you could do about it. You just yeah. died. So I played with this deck where like if I hit you. I had, to, I had to hit you half as many times as I normally would have had to hit you. He did the magic no version way, of the Pokemon poison powder. And there was no way of fixing it. <laughs> yeah. So like I would have. I, I had an awesome deck. I loved it. People awesome. hated playing against it. The only thing that beat it, I felt like then, were older decks that were just had so much better, crazier cards than sure. what I could get at the time. Calvin, did you ever really play Magic the Gathering? Haven't played Magic. And then Shane, you know, I really played it Never. either. Uh -huh. So it's not out of disinterest. I, of I would course. probably enjoy it. Looks it. Cool. You I definitely just, would have. Unfortunately for me, I just started spending a lot of money on it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I got to stop doing this. I did. That's kind of what yeah. I stopped too, because Mel was like, "You don't want to do that." It was cool. <coughs> what I really liked is like each, just each color, each type of land, just had a very distinct play style. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is really cool. Okay, Shane, do you yeah. uh, do any workouts at home? I'm trying to lose a bit of weight and get into shape. So any home workouts that you can. Think of maybe just body weight squats, and body weight squats. The first thing I would yeah. do, man, would just just eat better, dude, and worry about one thing at it's a time. It's like eighty percent of the of, of getting in shape. Yeah, just eat better, yeah. and then we'll, we'll yeah. on the way we'll we'll start working out. Calvin, uh, you are one badass dude. I don't know if you know, but you look like Ivan the Terrible from Epic Rap Battle. <laughs> you kind of. He's yeah. one badass dude. Aaron, I can't wait to see you as Arrow. <laughs> Eric, you're awesome, and I love your house. It looks cool. Sorry, guys, for my terrible handwriting. It looks really good. 
Uh, keep up with all of your hard work. Jonathan from Sunnyside, Washington. P.S. Shane, I follow you on Snapchat. Black Mamba! Hell yeah, dude. Hey. Well, thank you, Jonathan. I know I've asked a lot today, what's your favorite Nightmare Before Christmas song? Uh, I like Oogie Boogie song, but I also like What's This. Oogie Boogie! Yeah, What's This. Mine's What's This. What's This. What's this? I like the, uh... The stationery, by the way. Yeah, it looks good. Good. Nah, good. Thank you, man. Like thank thank you. you. Hearts Hand me for days. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh! This, one's, oh! this one's to me, and it's a Green Ranger. Oh, shit. Oh, sweet. Shit. Just sweet. I've heard that the Red Ranger and the Pink Ranger are, like, ridiculously yeah, expensive. Yeah, I suppose so, too. Hello, Blind Wave. Quite a while ago, I sent you the custom Firestorm pop. Oh, you but did? But now I send you something a little more mighty and sometimes morphing. <laughs> Sincerely... Ninja Turtles? I Isaiah? I Isaiah. Isaiah from for Maryland. <laughs> Isaiah from Maryland. <laughs> Isaiah. Isaiah from Maryland. What's his name? Huh? The Green Ranger. Tommy. Tommy. What's his name? Tommy. Tommy yeah. Oliver. Tommy Jason Oliver. Isaac Frank? Jason David Frank. David Frank. David Frank. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Isaiah. Thank you, Isaiah. That's why I got Isaac. Isaiah. Isaiah. Relax. You don't know. Okay, we That's have... The tenth doctor. Easy. Oh, he's not, have... he's not in his trench coat. Oh, hey. Twelfth doctor with guitar. Tenth doctor oh. didn't wear a trench coat. Tenth doctor wore a leather jacket. That's true. No wait, ninth doctor wore a leather jacket. He wore tenth a doctor coat? wore a trench coat sometimes, but he wore a suit a lot. Well, the other pop that we had kind of like a my my uh, baby <laughs> thing. Yeah, like sometimes you'll see him like in like a blue suit or like a black suit. Yeah. But then sometimes he also wore like a trenchy coat thing with the suit. I just meant that in the other pop we have him, he's wearing no, a trench coat. Sometimes I think he wears like, like a brown pinstripe too. <coughs> oh no, this is the this is right after he switched from the ninth doctor to the tenth doctor. Yeah, okay. he was still wearing his clothes. Cool. Yeah, regeneration. Yep. Yeah. And we have a My Little Pony Dr. Hooves. My Little Pony. My son loves that My shit. My Little Pony. Well, that's cool. Hey, Blind Wave. DJ from Omaha here. Hope you like these new pop figurines for your collection. I've seen that Calvin especially is a big fan of Dr. Who and figured I'd get a fellow Whovian some special merch. Yeah, Love just the Calvin. show. Nope, one of two. Oh. I'm sure you'll be wondering why there's a <coughs> pony in there. Well... Yeah. If you look closely at the name, that's why. Look into the show sometime. It's really great, especially whenever Discord is on. I'm sure you'd be surprised by that character. I get it. Doctor Who's? Doctor Who. Who? Oh. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you. I'm the only Doctor Who guy. Thank you. You're not the, go. I'm not the only one. <laughs> that's what Eric said. Did, did you not hear him? Oh. They, he's like, yeah, like, only cow. Just him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, he didn't say who he didn't say <laughs> fellow who be ends. He said who be in. And the rules just don't yell my breaks. Love when the breaks, love when the breaks, love when the breaks, love when the breaks. Damn shit! The white donkey terminal lamps. Hmm? A graphic no a graphic novel of war in its aftermath. The story of the United States Marine and his journey to and from Iraq. A powerful experience that will leave you changed. So it's a graphic novel. Yeah. Fly wave! <laughs> this book is from both Wood and Jesse, Alpha 727. Thank you. Officer Wood? Officer Wood. Yes, sir. We'd love to share our humor and experience from the USMC, written from a Marine's point of view and experiences. We hope y'all enjoy it. P.S. Eric's going to love the art. Oh, Doc cool. and Sergeant yeah, Wood. Good. Hey, thank you, guys. Doc and Sergeant Wood. Yes. The art looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like how the like the color scheme, mm -hmm. like it's, uh, what's that called? Uh, palette replacement? Mm-hmm. But it just changes through the whole thing, through the various... Uh, I guess. Oh, wow. No, I really got to check this out. Because yeah, it was I, cool. Yeah. All right, Officer Wood. Thanks, Wood. Doc? Thanks, Wood and uh, Doc, yeah. Yeah, or thank Alpha you. Thank you. Thank you. My that dude. Looks, that my looks dude. awesome. Officer Wood, my dude. Nice to meet you sometime. Hmm? There was one day on Discord, he just sent me two hearts in a DM. That's funny. What? Like, in a personal message, he just sent two hearts to me. <laughs> and I said, oh, by the way, Wood, I saw your two hearts you sent me. He's like, well, you never responded. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so that now I have this, and he sent me two broken hearts. <laughs> and, and, and I keep giving him the same type of boxes. To fuck Whoa. With. What, what, what? He's doing a Calvin thing. He's not letting us see. What, 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 You'll need it. Okay, cool. What is it? Let's see if they said anything on here. Tissues! No, it's... Fortune cookies? Yeah, they're fortune cookies. What? Blind Wave, please enjoy 
the messages inside. Uh, you all do great work. Mike D. Mike D. Mike D. Mike D. Thank you. Mike D. Mike. Oh, oh, everybody gets one. I want that one. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody gets one. <laughs> they only, hey, do you guys want to get one? Oh, shit. I have three. What'd you do? He already ate. Took the gum out okay. and on the table. I didn't get one. Huh? I, think, I, think I took Aaron's. Oh. <laughs> hey, you are more sugary. These are fucking great. Are they yeah. good? Yeah. I never eat for. I hate fortune cookies. I hate fortune cookies too, but try that. Yeah, fortune cookies. Mm -hmm. These are not regular fortune cookies. What? 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 No, you have that happy. Pick a eater. These are trolley. Oh, great. Your next shit is going to be a total monster. <laughs> That's a fortune? Yes. Oh, oh my god. I don't have a lucky number. <laughs> That's all it gave me. Congratulations. <laughs> You've received the one millionth fortune. Click here to claim your prize. <laughs> Wait, I want some. Damn it, Callan! I it's lagging. It's time to lower your standards. <laughs> Why are you laugh? <laughs> this one might I might actually this might actually happen to me. You <laughs> I saw something. You will die at an Arby's in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> you will die at Arby's. That kinda scares me. Oh my gosh, never go to Arby's. I had an ex-girlfriend that almost died in the in a Taco Bell in Columbus, Ohio, but it wasn't we, me, but we should it's coming for me. Anytime we go to Columbus, <laughs> we need to just stop my Arby's. Yeah, yeah. I ain't coming in! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll hey, it'll be funny. Like, there will be an explosion or a truck will run into the car as Eric is sitting in it. And if he had come in, he would have lived. But he died at But he at, died, he died because he was wait, at Arby's. Did he say at Arby's or in Arby's? At an Arby's. So yeah. see, you in went Columbus, to Ohio. In. So I'm good if I do the one, go to the one here. Yeah, I that love could, that. That could have been more. Permanent. Yeah, I know, right? Because that can. I was like, because I read it, I was like, oh, this could shit. really happen to me. <laughs> I wonder if there were like actual, like custom. I doubt it. You don't think so? No, the other ones were applied. I mean, yeah, is it in kind of, Ohio? They were just kind of broad, though. Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. That's. It's a, it's a major city. <laughs> ah! Ah! Cafe Brit Costa Rica. Huh? Oh, fuck. Co Ara coffee? Arabic coffee. Coffee grounds? Yeah. Ooh. Costa Rica does coffee. Hi, Blind Wave. I became addicted to your channel with the Game of Thrones catching up videos and wanted to send you something meaningful oh, from Costa Rica. This should help you get through those hours of video editing. JC from Costa Rica. It really will. It says this is a set. Do not separate. You yeah. take one. What are you doing? No! Uh, there's a vent. Ooh. There's a vent right there. Oh, shit. You smell shit? Actually, I don't. I smell something. Yeah? There's not, an, there's not a whole lot of air in here. Maybe yours is more out. open or something? Let's try that. I want to see my nose in your hole. Jesus. You get brown yeah, all I, over I it. I sit over here. Don't I? Here. I sit here. I still don't smell anything. Cool. All right. Well, thank you this very much. Cool. That's Th very thoughtful thank for, you. Yeah, and for I, helping us out in editing. Yeah, I love this stuff, too. Honestly. And Shane gets up early for work, so he can take some, too. Yeah. I'm excited about that coffee. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ah! 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 Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. What? Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. What are these? Making them books? Oh, dude. This is John Howe and Alan Taylor artwork. Yeah. Look, he's got a ball yeah. sack in his face. Whoa, shit, dude. Yeah, these are the original designs. Dude, I love this shit. Dude, this is no. awesome. Wow. This is really cool. That looks exactly like the movie. Uh, no it? note! It's right there, it just note. says... Note. It says, please note any items in this invoice that have a shipped equals zero or shipped less than ordered represent product no longer available. That's not a note. Thank you! Thank you. These are awesome. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Michael Yam. We oh, we really enjoy these. This one has a introduction by Andy Circus. Yes. And what? this one has Richard Taylor, who's the head of Weta, Weta Workshop, that did oh, all yeah. the work. Sweet. Well, thank you. Eric Whiteley and, and Shane, Shane Farley. Farley. You open there, buddy. Oh, no. Eric, throw that away. Threw that fucker. Is it more scorpions? I hope we never ate the first one yet. I hope that's cat. 
You might wait. have to eat this right now. Wait, what is it? You might have to, no, wait, don't, wait, don't you, you might have to eat this right now. What? Yeah. What is it? Hold on. What is it? It won't jump out. What is I don't it? Think. It doesn't have any holes in the bag, so. What is it? What is it? Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you might have to eat it. God, it's a big ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! We, oh. We're gonna do that. We won't do. We, we won't, won't do. We won't do shit with it. Naturally, that fits in his hands. It I mean, said realistic dildo on you're, it, I, and you're like, "Are we gonna have to eat it?" And I'm like, "We might have to eat it now." Oh, <laughs> oh God! Well, it's gotta Thank you. Thank you it so always, much for this. This is the yeah. same ones that Melanie sold. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. We already got oh, several at home because this is. This is our both of ours together, right? It yeah, to we a, can't go ass to ass. You can yeah. suction it to a wall. Put these in my so asshole. That it doesn't move, and, and you, you can that part in your asshole. I was gonna throw a try to hit it in the wall, but I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna sort over. Hey, <laughs> wow, Dang. that's Kyle Ren handling Fucking right there. Shane's good at handling. <laughs> I've heard that if you hit somebody with this, you can like knock them out. I'm sure. I, so I, just don't. I've knocked you out with mine before. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to take the light. I ducked it. <laughs> it's just a piece of rubber. Have you seen that video? God, just tie it on! Of that guy. No more bananas like, up your asshole and zucchinis. Oh, good. Have you seen the gif of that guy, like, opening his mouth with, like, a beer in his hand? And, yeah. like, a dildo flies out of shot and goes, like, four fifths of the way down his throat and then he, like, gags? Yeah. <laughs> no. It's disgusting. Did you see the recent one where, like, a, like, a, like, a father and, like, it looked like maybe, like, his daughter or something, but they were just playing. They were playing with a dodo or something like that, and they're like trying to like make it like stick like perfectly on the ground, and then she just fucking chucks it, and it hits the TV in the living room, and the TV falls off, and it's like dodos are dangerous. <laughs> Have you ever seen the kid that finds his mom's dodo? <laughs> He's playing with like a lightsaber. And no, he's like going wobbly sausage because it, yeah. it doesn't look like a dick, you know. He just finds it, and the the dad is filming him, and the mom's like. Stop that! You know, oh, you and he's like wobbly that. sausage, and then she tries chasing him. He's like, ha 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 ha! He's trying to run around. Stuff and start like. Do you notice that Shane put it in his where, where he keeps his stuff? I yeah. did, so I can use it for later. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, I already have some at home. Thank you. I, I've said I don't need these. Yeah, I've got plenty. Thank you so much. That was. I'm glad that they addressed it to us too. Yes. Thank you. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> ah! A gift from Kara Copeland. So this is from Kara. Kara. Why? Wait. <laughs> they're ladles. They're Nessie. They're Nessie ladles. They, they actually. They're like spoons, though. I think I was supposed to get one. You were supposed to get one. Kara said something to me on my Discord. I really need to sign in my Discord on my phone, like my real one. Oh yeah. Because like it's different. Yeah. I have my mobile one and my non-mobile one. I don't like the mobile one. So these are Nessie spoons. Yeah, they're they're ladles that you can actually leave in the pot. Like That's they stand all. Does up. it float and stuff? It doesn't float. That'd be cool. You can like, just set it on the table. Yeah, you just well, you can set it on the table too. Like it stands up because it has a little feet. Yeah. And also, it has a little. Yeah. That's cool. It's got a little head that you can do this with. You can have. It's a little tiny little. Love a little head. <laughs> Thank you, Kara. Good Thank are, you very good much. These are ladles, and Kira. they're not considered a. Actually, they're kind of. No, nope, don't say the word. <laughs> they're, they're ladles. They're a type of serving spoon. Don't break them. They're flexible. Uh. Ah! Ooh, what is these? Nope. Roasted plantain chips. Oh, Whoa. Shit. Are they all the same? Yep. Trader Joe's. Hey, me. Me. Oh, wow. Nice. Mm. You guys know what plantains are, right? Yeah. yeah. Fake bananas. They're the green bananas. <coughs> fake. Oh. They're fake bananas. They're kind of weird. They're big bananas. Let's try it. They're extra long. I like it. And they're using the starch, kind of like a potato. Like a tater? Yeah. Like a potato. Mm, I do like there. it. Yeah, it's good. It's good some shape uh, Aaron wouldn't like. It tastes a little bit of the plantain towards the end. I like it. Thank God for people who said stuff like this because we're always hungry. My son has been here all day. I want Aaron's review. Kind of nutty. Everything is kind of nutty I, to him. That's good. I like it. Thank you. We could each have one. 
And then also there's two extra ones that could be made for Joy and Melanie or something. Yeah, yeah. do that. Yeah. Do that. Uh huh. Yeah. Thank you. For the bland wave dudes. Dude. <laughs> Spice. 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 What? <gasps> yes, this is what I need. Is it's it a, a region it's a free. Region one? Somebody at, was asking me the other day, like, hey, do you guys need a Blu-ray player? I said, no, and I mean, has played it now, Aaron. Heck yeah. What? Yeah, played it now. Dude, we really need you a, a, a region. We really Wait, need an unlock that's one. That's Chanel. Wait, is that the subscription rental thingy? Yeah, it means like you can connect your account to it. Oh, okay. And well, that's cool. You can connect your controller to it and play then, I think. Yeah, you can. But you got to you gotta have a PlayStation Now subscription. Yeah. But it will link to it. Just like Netflix and all that stuff. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, that's game yeah. shooting. That's neat. That's pretty fucking cool. Someone was telling us. I can't remember the Shit. name. I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't have a... Awesome. Uh, we, have, we get a lot of Blu-rays and some of them, I mean, they're all around the world. Some of them we can't watch when our players, but yeah, now this we for, can. This will work for Blu-rays and DVDs, both. Yeah. Yeah, that's Thank awesome. you very much. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, great, thank you. Okay. Crew Blind Wave, I'm a recent subscriber and Avatar is one of my favorite shows. It is. It makes Good me one. very happy that you are reacting to it. Yeah, thank, you, thank you so much for all the hard work you put into your videos. Gina. St. Paul, Minnesota. Yes. Woohoo! Gina. Thank you, Gina. Gina, Gina. Gina got here? Whoa! Holy shit. Is it a big oppa? Is it a big oppa? Is it a big oppa? Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, let's go! Ah. 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 Oh, the Snuggies! <laughs> That's a big oppa. We gotta have that yeah, on the table? Oh. For scale! Here is Tiny Oppa! How often am I doing this Oppa? A lot. In the video? A lot. That's this is why Oppa's eyes are like weird. That's why it's all brown on the top of him now. So he didn't used to have this. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, this Gina. Cool. Thank oh you very much. Gosh! See, oh my gosh, it's a see, pillow pet! See, look how much... Look! <laughs> also, Shane... Momo! Oh, a mini Momo! It's a smaller Momo. Bigger Appa, smaller Momo. Yeah, what's more his, to scale. What's his tail? Oh, his tail's posable! Can you what? stand him up? Oh, like can a pipe cleaner? You, on, wait, ah! wait, 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 wait. You can stand him up! Alright, that's cool. So we got an Appa and a Momo. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Eric, catch. Give me up! This is from Michael Y. Ah! 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 Oh! No way! Yeah, this was designed by Daniel Falconer, who also was in that book that we just saw. This guy couldn't go to re um, medieval re uh, reenactments and stuff, so because he, he couldn't afford it. So he started just making his own swords, and that's how he got good of it. And then Peter oh, Jackson hired what? him. He designed every sword in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. That's awesome. And his last name is Falconer, like the Bruce Falconer. My man. Really. That was uh, good shit. Eric, hold it over there! Hold it over there! I should. Let me see it. Ah! It's kind of... Who's an orc? I don't get it. I don't know. Uh, the blade glows blue when orcs are around. Or oh, goblins. this is from The Hobbit, right? Yeah. Well, it's Frodo uses it in Lord of the Ranks, too. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. It's uh, like it's an elf, elf made. I like right? the balance of it. Elven made. Gandalf. Uh, this is more like a letter. Yeah, opener. there's there's elven like. Yeah. It's more of like a knife, but a hobbit could use it as a sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's elf made. It said cutlery on it. Yeah. See that? What, is that the? Open that up. This is the plaque. Yeah. It's manufactured by United Cutlery, which is why it says that. Cool. Nice. Elvish leaf motif. Imagine, imagine oh, nice. As a plaque. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. yeah that would be nice. Put it up there. It does feel really good, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks cool. Yeah, it's, it, you know, all the Elvish blades kind of look like leaves, <clears throat> you know? With that kind of look to it, so I like it. Yeah. I like I like a lot of the Elven blades that I've seen in Lord of the Rings. Like, I really Legolas like, has those, like, two. He has those bone knives. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're made of, like, those, ivory. I like those. Those yeah. are really cool. Yeah, yeah, I really like those, too. Orcus but, um, might be one of my favorite designs. Or Chris. I also really like Arwen's uh, sword, too. I like hers she because it's, much. it's more like a... Uh, I forget what specific style of katana it is, but more like the curved. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's another here. katana. Hi guys, spoilers, but I also got you some Lord of the Rings related books. Yeah. That should be arriving <clears throat> either this week or next. Hell yeah. Keep up the terrific content and congrats again on 100k from Not That Michael. Not That Michael. Not That Michael. Michael Y. Thank you, dude. Oh my gosh. I just reorganized all the swords on our back yeah. wall, so now I have to do it again. Michael. 
the thing I like about Elven blades, it's a good problem that to have. Really good, is blade. that Elven like a lot of blades, like the, like human blades are made as blades, and like I always feel like Elven blades have like a sense of like art in them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. A, like a, I don't know. They they, just, they a, look prettier. I don't know how to. They put a lot of work into making. If you saw a sword, you could tell who made it. Yeah. If you saw a helmet, you'd know who made it. You know. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So. Whereas, like, not to say like blacksmithing stuff isn't like an art and people making their blades and stuff like that. Yeah. But I just felt like elven blades specifically mm-hmm. just had more of a. It's supposed to be like nature, you know. Like whenever man would make a city, they would you know tear down trees and you know level out the, to make the city. But elves would build around the the, the trees. And they would, like, guess how they're going to grow. And they would use that as their architecture. They can live so damn long, you know? They like the Native Americans kind of and the Europeans. Gotcha. They would actually grow grow trees as their houses. It just looks like when you look over there, it looks like Calvin's sitting in the damn Iron Throne. No. <laughs> he does. He does. All right, well, thank you very much, Michael. Thank not you, that Michael. Michael. Not that Michael. And not, uh, Doug. Not Doug. Not, not that Michael Doug. either. Oh, shit. He'll be dead. Dude, he'll be dead. That would be, I don't love that much. Aaron, get your hat. Let's try it. No, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Bubbles! That goes with the bubble machine! Yes! Bubbles! Holy That's a crap. lot of fucking bubbles, That's dude. That's a lot. That is a gallon. Oh, shit! Look at that. <laughs> Shane just sees turtles. <gasps> that is a gallon of bubbles. That's a lot of Super bubbles. Fight The Walking Dead deck. Oh, I like that mug. That's, yeah. what, I that's what I do. I drink it. <laughs> that's awesome. I and I know things. In case they don't ship together, here's the list. TMNT Cup. Game of Thrones mug. Bubbles. Eric Blowshit. Bubbles! Oh, Eric Blowshit! That's awesome! That's a video Super Fight, the Walking Dead expansion deck. From Music Baby 312 on Twitch and Discord. You fucked that up, Eric. Blind, congrats on 100k subs. Thank you so much for all the work you put into the channel and for always putting a smile on my on our faces. <laughs> Love you guys from Music Baby 312 on Twitch and Discord. Music Baby! That's Music it. Baby, thank you. That's thank it. you. That's not everything. I don't, for some reason, I feel like that's, that's not, not it. everything. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. More. That's it. Oh that's fuck! That's yes. It. There's more. Ah. Not a kid. Ah. Ah. Just look away, ah. Shane. Just look at the bubbles. Ah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the bubbles. Get my back. No more. Stop! What's the rules? That was good. That was good. What? I want, can I forget one? Why? <laughs> you can't forget one, Aaron. You just pretend next week this comes. Why? Why? You, you have a hard hat now. This is for Calvin. This is for Calvin. It's a long fucking box. I don't want it. I want you to skip it. Watch Calvin's face. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Holy shit! I don't want to kill him. I don't want to. Oh, I can feel that. I don't. Holy want shit! Gosh! <laughs> I don't, Why? I don't want. To. Oh my I god! Why do people keep doing this? I don't know. After that little fucking thing, they're gonna be saying all kinds of shit now. <laughs> Alright, well, you killed Aaron, and uh, he's the box guy, so I guess we can't do the other box. It's so... my turn, though. Oh, okay. Aaron, Calvin, wake up, Aaron! Oh, God, no, again! <laughs> we, put this, we gotta put that up on the wall of swords. Just put it away so I can have peace for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, give him peace, man. You I went, hide it somewhere. You went pretty I imagine him one. use it to like see around, corner, see behind him when he's walking. Don't put that inside. The, put the other side. Man, that's creeping against your bony back, Calvin. How Eric gonna eat out of it now? I was gonna put my cereal in that and eat that with the regular spoon. <laughs> with this spoon? Yeah. Well, Shit. Oh. This is another fucking, another fucking no more. That would be a pretty big spoon. Shane's turn. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it. You got a concussion. It's okay. Holy shit! Dude! No way! It's Andrew, forged from the shards of Narsal. It's the sword of Aragorn, King Elisar. 
That's a beautiful sword. Ooh, that's a, this is such a pretty sword. Yeah, I know. I know, right? It's so rare to have a sword with a hollow pummel. That is not badly balanced either. That's, it feels nice. Feel that. As I a, feel like as long as it is, it should. Yeah. Just, uh, and he has know. a hole in the pummel, making he's me, armed. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That, ah! I don't want to hit it with this sword, but yeah. I'm just saying it has a hollow pummel that makes it even harder to balance. You know what I'm saying? True. So he had to make the whole pummel actually heavier, and then do that. Shit. That's really nice. That's fucking cool. So uh, this is what he was talking about last mailbag. Um, what was his name? Remember the guys like uh, the Weapon of Fangirl, which is what he was called when he was a ward of Elrond? That's awesome. Such a long sword, too, right? Yeah. I really like the, the very slight taper down towards the end. Yeah. No, this is awesome. It is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it yeah. is good. Well, it's a it's a bastard sword. It's longer than a than a regular broadsword. It's the sword of a sealdor. A sealdor? No, it's the sealdor's father's sword. Sauron breaks his sword, and then a sealdor picks this up and cut the ring of power from Sauron's hand, and then they reforged it into Andril, and gave it to Aragorn, Andril. who was the sealdor's heir. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Well, now you get two things to put up on the wall. Calvin. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hell, it's a tree of Gondor, man. That's oh, is sweet. that what the plaque is? That's amazing. Very nice. That's a long. Well, we're gonna fucking put it, Calvin. I'll find the place. He'll find a way. All right, that's everything. Mailbag thirty-five. Thank you to everybody that helped uh, contribute to this awesome night and video and whatever happened to Aaron with that spoon and uh, all the spoons before and frankly all the spoons to come. Yeah. Also, thank you very much for the dodo. Made no me <laughs> and Shane very happy. No more dicks. No more spooning. Uh, no, don't listen to him. Down in the description is all links to our social media. Blindwave.net shit has stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm never selling spoons. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. Bye. Oh my god, we should sell spoons. No! No! Calvin! Just... Ah! Uh.